fake news. It's totally fake news. They've been under order for a long time. The IRS does not treat me well. So the president, with a rare Sunday news conference, blasting a report by the New York Times, which claims to have legally obtained more than two decades worth of the president's tax returns, although it didn't give a source. The Times revealing that for 10 of the past 15 years, the president did not pay a single dollar in income taxes. It also says that he paid just $750 in two of the three years of his presidency, which, of course, doesn't seem like a lot, but is this out of the ordinary? Is it illegal? Uh, what's the deal with this? We are joined by Tom Wheelwright, who is the CEO of Wealth Ability in Tempe. So, Tom, good morning to you. From a pure accounting standpoint, what were your thoughts when you saw this? I, frankly, I'd be surprised if he pays taxes. As much debt and real estate as he has, um, real estate is highly favored in the tax law, has been for years and years and years, and it would be shocking to me if he paid a lot of taxes. So explain this. Uh, you know, obviously uh, businesses pay taxes, but if you're a business owner, you do get a lot more tax breaks than uh, those of us who work for other people. We have taxes taken out of our check and then likely not many write-offs, if any, at the end of the year, right? Right. T take an example of your home office. Everybody's in home office right now. If you're a business owner, that's deductible. If you're an employee, it's not. Well, and, and one of the things that was brought up was that he uh, wrote off $70,000 in getting his hair done. I, I asked it, my accountant if I could write off my hair, and she said no. But has that changed recently? I think you used to be able to. Well, th there have historically been ways to write off haircuts. Yes, you have to do it a certain way, but there, there is a way that business owners, um, particularly where he was doing it for his entertainment show, um, could probably legally write off his uh, haircuts. Okay, so you mentioned uh, the losses in real estate. Uh, how long can a business have losses and pay no taxes? You know, really, uh, you can go forever. I mean, I actually, I actually wrote a book on it. It's uh, Tax-Free Wealth is the book I wrote that actually shows how people, all people can do this. So anybody can do it. The, the tax law is a series of incentives, and it heavily favors real estate. It heavy, heavily favors business. Um, and so, you know, if, if literally, if you wanted to do this, you could. Okay, I got to get that book, Tom. <laughs> so it sounds like what you're saying is anybody that owns a business out there, out there is probably like, oh, I get this. I understand the losses and everything. Right. Business owners understand this. I mean, if you could look at Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, uh, they went years and years and years and years uh, without paying any taxes. So um, the rich don't pay taxes, and it's because of how they earn their money. Uh, so this audit that he's talking about, uh, it's been going on for years. He says he can't show his taxes because of the audit. It's my understanding that he could if he wanted to. But how long would an audit like this, and by the way, I think he's written off enough that he's trying to get like a 70-some million dollar refund. How long would an audit like that take? So he actually got the refund, and now oh, they're auditing, okay. to, auditing him to determine whether he needs to pay it back. Oh, okay. Um, audits can go on for a very long time, and he's a large business. He's likely to be under audit all the time. So for him to never be under audit is pretty unlikely. Tom, where can we get that book? That is on uh, Am Amazon or in your bookstore, so it's really easy to find tax-free wealth. All right. Well, thank you for your insight. Really appreciate it. Happy to be here.